In the wake of the census website, how can Australian fund manager has listed a cybersecurity exchange traded fund on the ASX to take advantage of companies who prevent such attacks. Target and JP Morgan were reasonably recent, fairly high profile victims of cybercrime. In the case of Target, uh, it cost the, uh, cost the CEO uh, his job um, and over 70 million customers um, have had their uh, personal details, including their credit card details, compromised and published. The cost of cybercrime to the global economy is now about $3 trillion per annum. And because of such breaches, BetaShares says the cybersecurity industry will rapidly grow from $82 billion US to $100 billion in 2019. And Australian investors have the opportunity to capture some of that growth. Cybersecurity is becoming quite a, um, you know, sort of quite an issue for everybody to focus on. Whether it's the government level, whether it's the corporations level, or whether it's the individuals, companies like Symantec, for example, who are, um, you know, providing um, antivirus solutions. Uh, you've got companies like FireEye who are providing uh, corporate governments with, with significant intelligence and security measures. He says the Nasdaq Cyber Security Index, which the BetaShares new ETF aims to track, has generated revenue growth of 60% per annum over the last three years. And that growth has in fact more than doubled uh, the rate of growth of revenues in the S&P 500 IT technology uh, subsector. And that sector itself is often looked at as, as, as one of the key growth sectors within the S&P 500. So the companies have certainly grown their revenues, but at the same time, their share prices have grown quite significantly.